Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. Let's see, in our last installment, um, we recruited our final companion for the game, uh, Ogren, uh, Bronca's ex-husband, who wants us to help him find Bronca in the Deep Roads, and we were setting out to do that anyway, because Balin requests that we find her in order to help settle who should be the king of Orzammar. I just need to keep telling myself, uh, speaking in my character's voice, I'm doing it for my sister. I'm doing it for my sister. I'm doing it for my sister. And because we've got a blight to stop, and if getting a king on the throne's the only way to do that, so be it. And Balin is taking care of my sister, so we're siding with him. Anyway, uh, we're af as you can see, pardon my uh, inarticulation, uh, as you can see, I am wearing a new set of armor. Uh, I quick went back to Soldier's Peak off screen and I grabbed the Juggernaut armor, since now I am able to qualify to wear that. And it's pretty cool armor, I like it, it's got lots of cool boosts, and this is pretty much going to be my armor for the rest of the game. Uh, we gave Ogryn the Blood Dragon armor, and uh, after thinking about things for a while, uh, since we are playing on casual mode, uh, I'm going to see if we can actually get along without a healer for a while. Uh, because there is some interesting dialogue in the uh, Paragon of Her Kind quest in the Deep Roads that involves Shale. So, or what I'd really like to do is leave Leliana behind, but... I kind of need her to open chests for me. I suppose I could come back to certain areas later if I really wanted to. Eh, let's ramp up the difficulty and leave our healer behind. I know. I want to take you along too. I'd rather leave Liliana behind. <sighs> but pretty much, since rogues are the only ones that can open chests and whatnot, they're pretty indispensable, and I gave her the ranger specialization, which I kind of need for a little trick I'm going to do in the deep roads, which I'm going to show you all, which will help you get monies. Because who doesn't like money? Anyway, Shale, you're coming with us. Yes. Indeed. Oh, and uh, we need to love you up, don't we? Let's see. Let me just give you a nice con and strength bonus. And we'll give you regenerating burst. Oh, we kind of forgot to give you new uh, crystals, didn't we? Uh, we'll do that before we leave, officially. Um, anyway. So, we're here in the Diamond Quarter because there is a, a codex entry I forgot to pick up while I was here last. And what it does is it will officially unlock the Key to the City side quest once you have all the necessary codex entries, and I have all but this one. And it'll direct you to an item which will give you some nice bonuses. So now we have the Key to the City. Uh, quest, which is in the assembly, and that is where we're going next. So without further ado, let's move forward, folks. Of Grey Warden, demon Have they really run out of ideas? Good, good mother of Partha. Lord Hi. Haramont, furious at the Grey Warden's interference, claims no one can stop his plans to strip Orzammar's defenses. Say, insiders. Oh my god, these people are driving me bat poop crazy. Uh, this is why I don't like Orzammar. 
I mean, politics can be interesting, but this is just absolutely ridiculous. It reminds me too much of real life, except without all the murder. And we now have the key to the city. Which is a ring, which gives us plus two to all attributes, and spell resistance, and healing effects received, but that effect is bugged on consoles. Anyway, so now we have some nice bonuses, uh, and we're going to give the lucky stone to Ogren. Why not? I mean, really, why not? Might as well. Alright. With that, we are done. And. Yeah, we'll just have to see how taking Shale and not taking a mage with us will work out. It'll probably be a lot more difficult, but you know what? I'm kind of a pansy for playing on casual anyway. I am just warning you guys, this the fights might take a little longer. Lord Haramont, furious at the Grey Warden. Okay, yeah, we already heard this. Um and that's Lord Dace. Could the end of Ozamar be nigh? Uh we don't care. We care about nothing! Actually we do care about some things. And before we leave, we're gonna stop by and uh talk to Brother Burkle since we uh, got permission from the Shaperit to uh, deal with the Chantry uh, he wants to open. Let's see, what else are we going to do? Uh, I suppose we could s quick run to the Circle of Magi and let Dagna know that she can go there. Uh, assuming they give permission. But first things first, uh, I'm also going to attempt to finish the uh, Thief in the House of Learning because someone stole a book from the Shaperit. And I believe their last known location was Dust Town. Could someone pick up those skeletons please? Thank you. Hello Brother Burkle. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. He agreed to let you hold prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. Well... I'm not doing this because I believe in the Maker, necessarily. I'm just for, you know, a group that'll be nice to the castless and, you know, preach love and tolerance and all that crap. Although, the Chantry doesn't always preach love and tolerance, but you see him all right. And, you know, with all the crap going on in Orzammar, it's not bad compared to... What am I saying? What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say is it'll probably do some good, maybe. I don't know. We don't. I can't see into the future, but it seems. It seemed like a good at. Blah, blah blah blah. I can talk. It seemed like a good idea at the time, so let's move forward. Also, I leveled up. Level 16! Which is awesome. Um. Rum, 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 rum. Let's see... Oh... Uh, well, my goal is to get to 42 strength and then just focus on my dex and con from there on out, so... Boost strength... We've got everything else we need... So yeah, let's take Warcry. Why not? Anyway, I believe that guy who stole from the Shaperit is in Dust Town, if I remember correctly. If not, those of you who know are allowed to kick me verbally. Alright, so waiting for the loading screen to get through. Please. 
pretty please. We don't have all day. All right. Moving forward. I wonder if this is the guy in question. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Hmm. I'm Gilda, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear what you're asking. Human kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. Like about who gets to buy and sell lyrium, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Hmm. Well, considering I got rid of that one Jarvia and Lesky, I'm not feeling so willing to deal with low lives. It must be dangerous if you're paying so much. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. Hmm. I'm sorry, but... Maybe EA could look good for the Grey Wardens if I turned you in instead. I mean, it would look uh, to the citizens of Orzammar, and the next king might approve of that, so yeah, I could just turn you in. I don't think so. Boys! Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly! <laughs> Alright. Ha! 20 sovereigns. Oh well, I guess that's not the guy. Let's see... Hmm... Bald and... Oh, well, he wasn't bald, so... Maybe- Oh, sh that guy. He must be it. Well, let's stop by and talk to him, then. Well, well, well. The Brand Warden comes home. What do you think you'll find down here? Open arms? I'm looking for a thief who stole from the Shaperit. Is that so? What makes you think anyone here would turn me- I mean, this person in? You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. Yes, and I'm off. All right. All right. Proving receipt. Which means we're heading back to the proving grounds. But first, we're going to stop by this merchant because reasons. Except, we're actually out of time here, folks, so I'm going to save the game and cut the video off here, but I will see you all on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. 
Like, subscribe, comment, whatever suits your fancy, and I will see you on the next episode. Have a wonderful day.